Okay guys, so I just want to share with you, uh, this is a part 3 where I find out about uh, this Matic sensor or we call it as a Matic LiDAR sensor. Actually, uh, from actually at this uh, for this video, I will try to show you uh, how to get a position hole without using a GPS. And for your own information, the height when using a lidar is not specifically for about two hundred millimeters, but actually it can go higher than that. So I will try to uh, demonstrate first. Let's see how. So as you can see from this screen, I don't know if you can focus. Now it's in acro mode. Okay. I'll be using uh, two different switch over here. So basically this is for arm, this is for the sonar sensor and this is for the GPS uh, switch. So let me show you how. So uh, I will demonstrate on uh, what is the uh, Matek sensor lidar looks like when in a surface mode So as you can see, this is the only height that you can get, but it's much higher than the previous uh, video that I already made. So this one is for the uh, sensor surface surface mode. Now we will demonstrate the GPS hole without using a GPS and it can go higher than uh, in a surface mode. So we'll see how. Disable this and then we are using this one. Okay, so let me get a higher one, a bit. So as you can see, it can go much higher than the surface. Really, really high. But this is for indoor. I don't know if you can use for outdoors.
Okay, I'm here from outside. Uh, we'll test this uh, lidar sensor from outdoors and let's see if it performs or not without the GPS. Okay, so let's see. So as you can see from that height, it still has the position hole. But this one is a surface uh, surface mode, okay? So we can see, let's see if it can get more higher than that. Okay, that's the only height that you can get now. But it's stay position hole. Let's see if I let go of the stick. I don't know if you can see whether I'm using a GPS or not. So no GPS whatsoever. Okay, that is the effect when there's too much light enter to the LiDAR sensor, okay? So we need to get a lower a bit. Then it will stay position hole. That's all. Okay, that one is the for the uh, surface mode. What about the, the position hole itself? Let's see if I can show you a bit about this one. So this one is the dedicated button. So this one's angle mode. This one is the GPS hole. I don't know if I can show you the demonstration for this. Okay, so let's see if I... Now it stays position and also the altitude. But this one is not a surface mode, okay? This one is the GPS hole but using a LiDAR sensor. Okay, let's see if we can go higher from that height it doesn't even hold its altitude uh, it doesn't hold his position but let's see if we go lower a bit like that then it will stay its position so I think the LiDAR sensor can only uh, perform the position hold without the GPS for about 200 centimeters only let's see if we go higher than that then it will drift a bit as you can see unless I just lower it a bit Six minutes. like that then it will position hole you see it stays Ah, see that? Okay, now it's raining, so I need to go. So, what do you think, guys? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video on part 5.